We're gonna look at MC4 connections for the day and how to make them. This is critical in your solar system. If you do it wrong, you could not have a working system or worst case scenario, you could cause a fire underneath your array. Hi, my name is Benjamin and I'm gonna help you plug into solar. All right, we got all the tools and supplies we need. Let's go through what we have. We have a pair of wire cutters to cut the cable to length. We have an MC4 crimper to crimp the connection. We have a pair of wire strippers to strip the wire to expose the copper inside. We have some MC4 tools used to tighten the connection once we've crimped the connector. And we have a few females and male MC4 connections since we're making a few today. So we're gonna start with some outdoor rated PV wire. This one's already cut to length. We have a female end on this side already. We're gonna put a male end on this side. So we're gonna start by stripping back a quarter inch off of the jacket to expose the wire inside. And you can use the pin that's in the connector as your guide to know how much to strip. So we're gonna use the strippers on the 10 gauge size because that's what wire we have today. So we're gonna find 10 gauge, go about a quarter inch down. We're going to squeeze all the way, kind of rotate that just a little bit and kind of pull off that shielding, the jacket. Now, once we have the copper inside exposed, we can load our MC4 crimper with the crimp. It's really important to use an actual MC4 crimper to make the crimp. If you use like an automotive crimper and stuff like that, those kind of non MC4 crimpers, you can actually kind of crimp the shape, won't be a perfect, perfect to fit in the connector and that could cause issues down the road. So we're going to load the pin in on the 10 gauge size. Okay, once that's loaded there, we're going to take the end that we just stripped, kind of slide that in, make sure it goes in all the way, and we're gonna squeeze the handle on this with, kind of take, take it all the way in until it clicks and you can't go any farther. Once we've done that there, we can release it. Okay, we've now crimped it. We want to make sure we give it a good tug to, to make sure that it's solid. If we didn't crimp it all the way, didn't squeeze the handle all the way, we potentially could pull this off and that's not good. Once we have that there, we're going to take a connector, put the little nut on, and then we're going to take and slide it in. You're gonna hear an audible click. Once that's there, we can take the nut, screw that on. Once we've done it by hand, we're gonna take the MC4 tools. They have a little cutout in the middle that the housing of the connector will slide in. Then you're gonna take the other one and put it on the nut and kind of turn. And we're gonna to wanna to tighten this pretty tight. This will ensure that the connector's watertight and that the wire has kind of a strain relief to not pull out of the connector. Once we have that tight, we're done. We got a good MC4 connection. All right, now that we got our extension cable all made, we're gonna plug that into the panel. Here on this panel, we have the female connector and we need to take that to either the next panel or to our inverter. We got our cable we just made. We're going to line them up kind of push them together all the way, hear that click. We're gonna give it a good tug to make sure that it's solid, that it doesn't come apart. This will guarantee that we have a good connection. If we have a poor connection, we're gonna have efficiency loss, heat buildup, or even worse, fire in the connector. If this video was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. We have more videos to come. Give us a call 
Check out our website. We've got lots of articles in our learning center to help you plug into solar.